Well, happy Friday, St. Paul's. This is Jeremy coming to you from a little bit of a different location this Friday morning. Um, we just got finished here at the church with our first family chapel for the St. Paul's Christian School. You may be able to hear a little bit of them in the background here, but I just wanted to drop a couple minutes um, for just a minute to uh, just give you an update on this week, to remind you of a few things and to um, kind of prime the pump a little bit for what we have in store over the next uh, several weeks. Uh, just a reminder, uh, we've been saying this for a while, but we have been working pretty hard to get uh, you all to consider stepping into a small group reality, uh, Christ-centered community, and we are so very excited that many of you have stepped up and um, said, yes, I want to be a part of that. And so um, just a reminder, those, uh, those small groups that we call life groups, they're going to be beginning this Sunday. And so we've got a consistent group of folks that are going to be launching that. So pray for them um, as they begin this journey. And we are so very excited about that. Um, also, we're going to be launching a weekly Thursday morning Bible study. And that's another opportunity for you to step into a small group atmosphere and to uh, be in Christ-centered community. That's going to begin on Thursday, the 22nd. And we've got um, a little over 10 people already registered for that. And if you want to be a part of that, it's not too late. Just email me. And I'll give you the information about what book to order and give you the schedule. Also, um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this on Sunday morning, but it's also in your weekly newsletter. Uh, the United Women in Faith have a book study that they're going to be. Um, they've been talking about it all summer, inviting you into it, and they're going to start their discussion soon. So that's another opportunity for you to be in a small group community, and I pray that you take those opportunities seriously and consider stepping into that. All right, uh, last two things. First is this Sunday, normal Sunday, 1030 a.m. here in the sanctuary. Um, we're going to be looking again at a perplexing teaching of Jesus. We just looked at one that um, many believe um, is one of the most perplexing when Jesus talked about um, hating your father and mother and, and counting the cost of discipleship. We did that this past Sunday. But this upcoming Sunday, we're going to look at one that is also absurd it's also kind of out there even though many of the ways we've been taught it and engaged it can be comforting it really was out there and it really was absurd in a lot of ways and it's the two parables in which Jesus speaks about God seeking the lost the first parable that we'll be talking about this Sunday is how uh, the shepherd leaves the 99 sheep behind for the one lost shepherd and then Jesus follows that one up with the parable of the lost coin where the woman lost this one coin and she pretty much tore up her home and, and, and rearranged everything to find this one coin that it wasn't so much of monetary value, but it was of distinct value to her. And so we're going to look at those maybe through a different lens this Sunday because uh, the nature of those really speak to something really powerful about not only God's character, but about the invitation we have to partner with God in this beautiful, overwhelming, relentless, reckless love that he um, wants us to be a part of. So I hope you'll be here this Sunday. If you can't be with us in person, please join us online on the Facebook stream or on our YouTube channel, um, 1030 a.m. Eastern Time. And lastly, this is pretty exciting. I want to go ahead and prime the pump on this. Um, starting next Sunday, we're going to spend about four to five weeks um, in our Sunday morning worship services uh, revisiting our God-given mission which is, as United Methodists, to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. And then in the following Sundays, we are going to um, highlight the vision that you all have claimed as St. Paul's United Methodist Church. This work began well before me, and we're going to look at those vision statements, those things that help guide how we seek to meet the mission, how we seek to make disciples, which is going to be by affirming God's love, you know them, right? So same with me. Affirming God's love, connecting generations, impacting our community, our nation, and world, and transforming lives. So we're going to be spending a Sunday um, focusing on each one of those, and we're going to end on that, that series on Sunday, October the 16th, with Homecoming, Homecoming Sunday. This is a Sunday where I want you to go ahead and put it in your calendar. I want you to call your neighbors. I want you to reach out to those people that you haven't seen here at St. Paul's in quite some time and say, hey, we're having homecoming. We want you to come home. We want you to be here. We want you to celebrate this beautiful place which God has blessed us with and this community that he calls us to. 
Um, as a part of that homecoming Sunday, we're going to have dinner on the grounds. We're going to have a potluck meal together that Sunday, and we look forward to celebrating God's grace among us that Sunday. So go ahead and put all that in your calendar. Make plans, make phone calls, reach out to people, and celebrate, uh, and get ready to celebrate, excuse me, Homecoming Sunday with us, which is um, in a little over a month, October the 16th, here at St. Paul's. Grace and peace to you all, and I can't wait to see you all Sunday.